YouTube, it's Pumpkin LPN, and I'm here with a hair video. I got a personal message, and somebody asked me, what is my hair regimen? Well, before I used to use Dr. Miracles, I have lots of videos on Dr. Miracles, and that did work for me for a time, but as with every relaxer that I use, my hair started falling out, started thinning, and I started getting bald in this spot right here. So, that's why I decided to completely stop relaxers, chop all my hair off while I transitioned for six months. Then I chopped all my hair off um, January 3rd. So, it's been a little over a month. And I have to say, good progress, good progress. I really, really like my progress considering how much I chopped off. Shrinkage is a, a mess though. <laughs> but anyway... My hair care regimen depends on what style I'm doing in my hair. And right now, I only do two styles. That's all I know how to do. Well, actually, I've done three because I've actually done um, a twist out, but I didn't like that. Um, let's start with my normal hair care regimen, what I do every other day if I'm not wearing a style. I first start with um, cream conditioning shampoo by Elastic QP. And then I go ahead and I do a deep condition with this. Let me take the price tag off real quick. And I usually get this at Sally's, but um, I went to Sally's and they didn't have it, so I had to go to a local beauty supply store, and I swear they just, oh, the price just, it was horrible. <laughs> I paid like $3 more than I normally do. This cost me $8. And this is what I, I use as a deep conditioner. And that is um, the olive oil hair mayonnaise. And this says to leave it on for 10 minutes. Let me give you a little tip. When something tells you to leave it on for 10 minutes, leave it on for 10 minutes. Because I, I think they pretty much know how the product is going to work in your hair. So you don't have to leave it on forever. Plus, if you leave this product on for a long amount of time, it gets sticky and it gets kind of hard to rinse out of your hair. Leave it in for 10 minutes because your hair is only going to absorb so much and then it's going to stop absorbing. So leaving something on your hair for hours and hours, your hair absorbs what it wants to and then leaving it for the rest of the time is just excess. Why? It's not absorbing it anymore. That's like filling up a sink full of water and you thinking you leave it running, it's going to uh, hold more water. No, it's not. Don't leave something on your head for five, six hours. That's it's not absorbing your in your uh, in your hair anymore. But anyway, <laughs> um, that just cracks me up when I see people on YouTube. Well, I left this in for six to eight hours when it tells me to only leave it in for ten minutes. Next, I use in my head. I use, um, I rinse that out, I put a plastic cap on, I massage my hair, my head, I massage, massage everything, um, and I, then I put a, uh, a plastic cap on it, or a Walmart bag, some kind of plastic bag, I like to recycle my bags like that, then I wash it out, and sometimes I put this in, um, balancing moisture, um, by Afrogene. Um, this works good. The Afrogene two minute reconstructor, I tried that and that did not work on my head. My hair, it was, it made it feel kind of gritty, um, dry. It just didn't feel good. I had to wash it out and put some of this in there and snapped it right back. Then I spray on a little bit of the Pro Vitamin by Afrogene leave in conditioner. Um, just quick spray all over. Then I let it dry. And sometimes I'll go ahead instead of when just a stamp, I will um, have a mixture of olive oil, water, and organic carrot oil tea and tree tea, tea tree oil therapy. I like this. And I spray it on my hair, and then I let it dry, and then I'll just put this in Hawaiian silky. I love this stuff. I am in love with this stuff. It just, my hair, I was trying to use castor oil. My hair doesn't like castor oil. My hair doesn't really like too many oils other than tea tree oil, carrot oil, and olive oil. That's it. I even tried virgin coconut oil. It does not like this. My hair doesn't like this. And 
what's good for the goose may be uh, bad for the gander. You ever heard that saying? Well, you see a lot of different videos where somebody saying this works for my head. It may not work for yours. What I'm telling you I use in my head may not work for yours. You can try it, but it's not going to say that it's going to work. And I think that's what I find myself doing a lot with watching YouTube videos. I try something and I'm like, ugh, that's not working for my head. So the only oils I can use are carrot oil, olive oil, and um, tea tree. And then I got this from the beauty supply store today. I, I was looking around. And I found this uh, cocoa butter oil. I'm going to mix that up and try that. And the only ingredients are cocoa butter, vitamin E, and herbal oil. And then I found some different tea tree oil. Ingredients are olive oil, castor oil, canola oil, aloe vera, herbal oil, sunflower oil, vitamin E. And then coloring to make it greenish color. So, that is my daily regimen. If I want to wear kinky curly, curling custard, um... I will wash my hair with the Kinky Curly Shampoo. This is a cleansing shampoo. It's called Come Clean. And guess what? Your hair is going to come clean. It feels squeaky clean um, once you use that. And then I put in the knot today. As you see, I kill this stuff. I love the knot today. I love it. I'm about to put some in my hair in a few, I think. And then, of course, I used the Kinky Curly. I left that in the bathroom, but we all know what K, um, Kinky Curly looks like. And that's all I do for that. I love that. I use that as my protective style because I'll put that in, and then every morning, it's wintertime, so I can't wash my hair or wet it every morning. So what I do is I just freshen it up with some Not Today. That's why this is almost a dead soldier. Um, I just put some of that in my hair, warp it, and the curls pop back up, and I keep it moving. Um, then if I do, um, my, um, twist, I use my normal washing regimen and then Miss Jessie's Baby Buttercream. And this is the only size that they have for me to try. And it smells so good. I just love the smell. I think this was like, I don't even want to say how much this was. I think it was like 12 Thirteen dollars. It was expensive for this itty bitty jar, but it works great. I really, really like this, and I like it in my baby's hair too. And that is it. That is all I do to my hair. I tried this. I didn't like it. Days be hard. Sent me some shea butter. I'm definitely gonna try it. I am so gonna try it. She sent me some face moisturizer. I'll let you know how that goes. I am so excited to try it. And I'm so excited to try to do kinky twists in my hair, but I'm not going to guarantee because I am so lazy when it comes to braiding my hair. And I can actually braid my own hair. It took me years to learn, but um, I'm lazy. And then I picked some of these up too. I don't know if my hair is ready for a band, but these are the ones without any kind of um, metal parts. They're just either, I don't know if they're sewn or glued. They're glued. No metal in them. Because I don't know if I'm ready to wear a headband yet. I just don't want to put any tension on my edges. That's why I just let it, let her be. I have, um, this, one of my temples, I can't really see. It's kind of thin. But, you know, you live and you learn. So, um, just keep trying products. It's basically a trial and error. What works for you may not work for somebody else, and what's working for them may not work for you. So just keep trying different products till you find something that works for you. Okay? I hope this helped, and I will see you guys next time. And happy hair travel. That was so lame. I didn't know how to end it. So I'm just going to end it now after I made a lame attempt. <laughs>